Okay, let's see how this goes. Um, so I am actually going to make a combat before I go over to here. I've been slowly but surely um, uh, making all the movements. There's nothing of any great import going on here. However, um, with the... and it's kind of nice because I wasn't really sure at first. I was like, oh man, I'm giving up a glorious opportunity. Here I moved um, some of the first core over to here. Uh, this guy over to here and then I was like I really would like to nail this guy but I thought it was actually uh, 2310 here I thought it was actually the uh, second cores uh, one of the second cores objectives it isn't um, it's actually the first core so the first core is going to end up having to take uh, um, this position this position this position and this position within uh, by the end of the month that's what they've been tasked to do so I was like awesome and uh, I was like well we're gonna at least try to drive off the cavalry here but yet again I'm not using reconnaissance right now and so on and so forth even though I think um, realistically they sh well, yeah, they're a bit sneaky at the time but mind you we're not getting into like it's still pretty open the trenches aren't like um, well there's no proper trenches yet um, that type of stuff. I'm sure there's they could see what the heck's going on whether or not there are some um, Infantry enough infantry troops sitting there like is there a one strength point? I didn't know and I was like well here I am gonna go in unsupplied because there's no supply points here I'm gonna go in unsupplied attacking and I may get stuck um, You know and that's just the way it goes, but uh, it isn't I took a look at, I took a took a look and it's just the the Russians here have the first guards uh, the Guard Cossack Cavalry Division here, they only have one strength point. Um, so I'm going up again uh, with these two, and yet again, I'm not a big fan, this is the way I'm role-playing, I'm not a big fan of having combined attacks, like with 2nd Corps here and the 1st Corps, because this is the 1st Corps' objective, not the 2nd Corps' objective. So I was like, you know, uh, how do I... Gonna... But, when I look at the... And, regardless how I attack here... Um, because I do need to attack with the two fives here because I'll be reduced down to five strength points because they're unsupplied. It gets chopped in half. Because I will be attacked, no matter which way I am attacking here, they're going to be able to use the woods um, to defend. So that's minus two to the die roll for me because uh, that's the way it goes. Yeah, I'm not going to get into rules every three seconds here. Um, so when I looked at here, hopefully you can see. So when you go to the five at the minus two, if um, if I if I roll a five or a six, um, the Germans will will do it. Um, otherwise, uh, the Russians are fine. So, and the Russians are going to stay there uh, because they think they're okay, or like they're just going to you know take it uh, or whatever. They're going to have to be driven off. And there's um, a much better chance if I get the freaking second core guy over here just that popped them up so I'd be up to 14 strength points unsupplied drop me down to seven but with the seven no matter what I do unless I roll a one shoot one or a two oh. all right so I have a better roll so I'm gonna roll and that's what it is um, so all three so wait basically how I decided to role play it here is uh, uh, Richthofen here, remember that's uh, not Baron von Richthofen, uh, you know, the Red Baron, this is his godfather. Uh, he got a, gets on the blower to the second core, uh, uh, the second core here, uh, guy here, von Redder, and, and says, hey, look, tell you what, you do me, you do me a favor right now, and I'll do you one later on, in the, fa in the sense that, and I promise, because that's one of their objectives, that's going to be, that's one of Redder's uh, objectives here. So tell you what, you you help me out here with a combined attack. I know you're unsupplied, just like me. We'll take this position, and then I'll help you out later on when you go to there. How does that sound? Sounds reasonable to me. All right. So as long as I don't roll a one or a two, uh, the cavalry gets pushed back, as far as I know. Uh, so here I go. I have to go and grab the things, and hopefully you'll see it. And that's it. And I'm going to stop this video, and away we go for some other ones which are the two big combats up there, and they're going to happen, trust me. Um, let's see if I can do this here. I'll try not to... You can see, kind of. Okay, good. Let's see. So as long as it's not a one or a two, the cavalry are pushed back. But uh, the guy still has to do the favor. 
Oh my goodness gracious me. It's a two. Uh, let's make sure that I did this properly. Um, so it's strength points of seven minus two and it's a two. So one, so it's zo no hits. They don't force a retreat. The cavalry stays there and as far as I know uh, they'll be able to um, do a counterattack. Um, and they don't have to, whoa, wait a minute here, it's past November. So um, in November now, they have to worry about supply as far as I know, cavalry. Let, let me check the rules. I didn't expect this to be as long as I expected this to be a rather quick. I better hurry up, my battery's going a mile a minute here. Um, so it was only one strength point. For goodness sakes, what the hell are they going to do with one strength point? Let's just roll. Let's just see what happens. But they get a plus one to their die roll. Let's see. It's a three. It's a three going to do on a one. Nothing. Okay, so that's a quickie. Uh, but the cavalry stays there, so the, um, that's kind of nice, you know, in a weird way, because when I saw the name, I was like, Guard Cossack Cavalry Division. It's like, you know, I mean, come on. Give them a bit of credit. So it's these guys here, and they stay there. Wow, that was, that was fun to do. Okay, hope you're having a great time. See you later.